Okay, this next problem we want to apply the chain rule formula by first identifying the F and the G. Now this we have sine to the fifth. Now instead of writing it this way, it might make more sense for you to rewrite it like this. So instead we have sine X all that raised to the fifth power. This way you can more easily see what your inside function is going to be. Your U or G of X is going to be this one right here. So we're going to put sine x there for our g of x. And if we get rid of the sine x and replace it with a u, then we're going to get the f function. That's going to be u to the fifth. We're going to do our formula for chain rule. We do the derivative of the outside. So we're going to do the derivative of the u first. The 5 comes down. Subtract 1 from the power. We get 5x to the fourth. That's just applying the power rule to our u. Then we're going to multiply this by the, the derivative of our u, which is our derivative of sine x. The derivative of sine x is cosine x. Now the last thing we have to do is just put the sine back in. So you could, if you want to go ahead and do that and leave your answer in this form you can or you can also just write it out like that sine to the fourth x and then cosine x and then that there would be your derivative using the chain rule.